Another thing is to get everything in writing. And that means that a job description. Oftentimes they're doing a few different things. So get everything in writing. Every single thing they're doing, a brief job description of what they're doing and the cost for that. <clears throat> and then of course the receipts for all the payment. Because what happens is, especially in a military controlled region, there is no such thing as a business anymore. So I found this out through the Yellow Pages and I would call down the list of people in the Yellow Pages for electrical contractors, for plumbers, for construction supply, for doctor offices in the area, for tree removal companies. And every time I experienced the same thing and that was nobody picks up their phone, nobody answers and you leave a message and in a day or two somebody calls you back. And what was funny is that I would get one phone call. I will call five or ten places. I will leave five or ten messages. And I will get one return call. And that was the people the military selected to come work at the house. So what's odd about that is even if nobody wants to pick up their phone that day, you should at least expect five or ten of these places to call you back in the next day or two. Because that's the way business is conducted. So it was very odd in my opinion that only one person would call me back after I would call and leave messages at five or ten businesses. And then one day I decided to drive around and look at the locations. So what I found out is that most of these businesses don't even exist. And I did this for electrical contractors, I did this for doctor offices, and I did this for tree removal companies. And every time it would be an old disheveled house and I would knock on the door nobody would answer. Oftentimes. These numbers will be there in the yellow pages so you would think that it would be an established business and if you start calling down the whole list of numbers a lot of the numbers are disconnected and if you drive over to any of these places it's just private residence just an old rundown house there's nobody with any shop it's not an office and oftentimes these numbers won't last more than a couple months before they get disconnected you call the same numbers back they're disconnected so to put it simply they don't exist it's all an illusion in these military controlled zones because they know a lot of people they just go down the list call a bunch of people leave messages somebody calls them back that's good enough for them they need the work done that's good people trust one another to the point that people are naive but if you look into some of these businesses a little bit like I did driving around to see where their offices are to see where their addresses are or to call them back over the next couple months to find that their numbers get disconnected I began to realize that they were all fronts. They were all there to create the illusion of having some sort of competition. And no matter who you call, you'll get sleazebag military drone contractors. So this is why you have to be real careful with these people to just show up after you call a bunch of numbers in the yellow pages and one of them calls you back. These people are not to be trusted because they don't technically exist. They don't come from a reputable business that's been in business for 10 or 20 years with an office somewhere and a secretary and some sort of uh, website. They have nothing. They have none of that. They have a Yellow Pages ad at best and their number will get disconnected within a year and if you drive over you'll find some rundown house that is empty. So if you have a problem with uh, something going wrong, good luck in court with that. So get everything in writing and keep all your receipts because that's the only thing that you will have. So I went around to these different doctor offices and they had offices in like a complex and they had sometimes a little plaque on the door but during business hours in the middle of the week nobody's there to answer the door and the reason for that is because uh, the Roman Catholic Church has the three largest hospitals in the area and they control all the doctors. There is no such thing as doctors with private practices anymore. If you want to get a primary care physician you got to call up the Roman Catholic Church and their 800 number and they will assign you one of their doctors. And if you ask, well, uh, can I go in and, and see some of these doctors? No, they'll assign you the doctors. They don't do meet and greets. They'll assign you a doctor. They control all the doctors in the area through the hospital. There are no private practices except in the, in the artificial Yellow Pages world where they have a bunch of doctors with private practices, but they don't exist there in real life if you actually go to that office and knock on the door in the middle of the week during work hours nobody will answer the door because it's all an illusion good afternoon family medicine team a this is mark 
Hey, Mark, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How about yourself? So I just moved to New Hampshire recently. Okay. And I have Medicare insurance. Mm-hmm. And so I'm uh, in the market for a new doctor. Okay, John, I can help you. And how I'm going to do that is we have uh, what's called a primary care panel. They assign new patients with doctors, BCPs. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer you to that extension. And you're likely going to get an answer machine. Once in a while, somebody is there and they'll pick up live, but usually you get an answer machine. It'll prompt you to leave various bits of information, the standard stuff. Leave all that information for them. They will get back to you. And um, I think usually you have a PCP assigned anywhere between, you know, three and seven days. All right, Mark. Maybe you sound or even so. Okay, so I'm going to transfer you. Well, that one, one second, Mark. Oh, sure. You you sound like a well-informed guy, so I want to ask you just a couple more questions. Go ahead. If I know, I'll tell you. All right, great. I'm kind of old-fashioned, and I would kind of like to uh, go meet the doctors to see the right fit for me. Like I choose the doctor. So what what is this new way that they choose a doctor for you? Who is this uh, group that chooses doctors it, for you? It's a, it's uh, it's called the primary care panel. That's their job here in the building. That's what they do. They they assign a doctor for you. You can certainly put any kind of request you want. They're not all doctors are taking new patients, so there's only a handful that are taking new patients. So, um, but you know, leave that request on your voicemail and you know let them know. I'm sure they can uh, talk to you about that. I have no idea how that how that works. Okay, so you have let's say you have uh, David Hall as a doctor on your team A. That's correct. Now, does David Hall have a, uh, a website or something like that, or, or some information on the internet that you can look up uh, David Hall yourself? I uh, my answer to you is I don't know. I've, I've never done that. I'm not sure. I my inclination is to say probably not. Probably everything goes to the Cheshire Medical Center, Dartmouth Hitchcock King website. Maybe you can look up providers there. Uh, and so all, all I have no these, idea. Okay, so Mark, all these doctors are handled by this uh, by the Cheshire Medical Center. Yeah, Dartmouth. They're all handled. They're all handled. Okay, yes, and that is correct. All right, so uh, I appreciate your help today, Mark. Sure. Take care. Okay. Do you need me to transfer you to that? Uh, uh, not yet, Mark. I, I got the direct number. Thank you for your time, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Goodbye. Management Department at Dartmouth Hitchcock Clinic in Keene. If you need assistance in establishing with a primary care provider, or if you wish to change your current primary care provider, please leave your name, telephone number, and your date of birth, and your call will be returned by the end of the next business day. If you have a medical problem that needs immediate attention, please visit your nearest emergency department. Thank you. All right, thank you for holding, ma'am. How, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? Real good. What was your name again? You said Pamela? Polly. Polly. Great. Did you get my message, Polly? I did. What's your date of birth, John? Is 9 18 1975. So you need to be assigned a primary care? Uh, that's correct. Okay. Um, are you new to the area? Well, I moved here about a year ago, but uh, I'm in the market for a primary care provider now, so. We have three, um, Dr. Eric Canzanello, Dr. Sheila Raminathan, or Dr. Tola Wilson. Okay, so uh, do they have some sort of information on the internet, like a website or something like that? I could send you uh, their profiles. Uh, two of them are family practice doctors, and the other one is an internist. Great, let me just get a pen and note this down real quick. I appreciate your time. Hang on one second. So, uh, uh, Pauly, yeah. uh, do you just handle the people at the Cheshire Medical Center that's listed in your Yellow Pages ad, or do you also refer people to all the doctors in the area? No, we, we have specialty doctors here. I can mail you their profile, so we can assign you one today. Let me just jot down their names again. Uh, do you want me to send you their profile? Okay, you could do that. All right, and then I'll put a business card in. And when you decide which one you want, just give me a call. All right, there's no way I can meet them, right? Uh, no, we don't have a meet and greet. Okay. There's a lot of doctors in the area. In the Yellow Pages ad, there's uh, quite a few. If you were picked in a doctor for yourself... I'd uh, love to do that. If, if you were going to pick a doctor for yourself, would you go to the different doctor offices and meet them? No, that, no because they feel that it, um, if you went to see a doctor and took up his time and said... Well, I don't, I don't know on him and went to another one. They could be seeing patients that really need to be seen that are sick. So it's actually 
to them it's a waste of their time when they could be taking care of their established patients who really are not feeling well. Okay, so uh, maybe in the future we'll eliminate the whole yellow pages and just have your number to call, and you could choose the doctors for us all. Yep, because the ones that I'm going to send you are the only doctors that are taking on new patients in family medicine. And this will be the, uh, the anonymous doctors, and uh, I'll take a look at their business cards, and I'll try to pick which would be the best for me, huh? Okay, I'll send that out to you today. That sounds like a great plan. Okay. Sounds like it's working real well for you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Uh, you said your name was Amber? Yep. Hi, my name is John, and uh, I'm kind of new to New Hampshire. I'm looking for a, a new primary care provider. Okay. So we have two females here. One of them has a little more availability than the other um, because she's newer to our practice. She moved from the Peterborough practice over here, so she just has a little bit more availability. Than Great. Here, and they kind of see each other's patients. Um, now, with that being said, if you wanted to transfer over, we need your records from your previous provider before we can see you. Um, are you close by? Can you stop in at some point and fill out some paperwork? Yeah, I'll, I would love to come in. Uh, how about next week, though? Uh, that would be fine, but I want to put you in the computer system so that we've got you in here. Okay. Do you on hold for just a moment so I can finish the note I was working on? All right, Amber, thank you. Yeah. All right, Amber, what did you just say? I'm sorry, I, I uh, someone was talking to me. What did you just say? I said we don't typically do that. Um, either you are planning to become a patient of ours or um, or you're planning to become a patient of theirs. We don't do meet and greet like that. Okay, so uh, where did you get that information that I set up an appointment two seconds ago with a Dr. Kavanko? Uh, because we have the same computer system. We're sister practices. We work together. We're owned by the same hospital. We up in our system to make sure your name wasn't already in there. Okay, so Monognac Family Care and Ringe Family Practice, you're owned by the same hospital? Yes, we are. Huh. And that wouldn't be Monadnock Community Hospital, would it? Yes, it would. And uh, is that kind of like a triune conglomerate of hospitals? There's three hospitals that work together, some type of Catholic hospital thing? Yes, we're yeah. affiliated with the Catholic Medical Center. Um, so the, and so the Catholic Church, Church owns all you guys, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so basically you don't do meet and greets, huh? All right, so like I said before, I was into uh, going to uh, a naturopathic doctor. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's kind of important to me to meet the doctor and make sure they look reputable and everything like that. So that's why I do it that way. I don't like people choosing the doctor for me. I like to choose a doctor for myself. Well, Just the same thing with anything right else, as you could imagine. So I like to come in and meet everybody and make sure I'm with a good doctor. So what would be a good time I could come in and meet you? Um, like I said, we don't really do a meet and greet. That's all well, I'd just like to see the office, though. See where you guys are at. You can certainly do that. Great. Anytime. So, anytime. If you want to stop in and see the office, we don't really do the whole meet and greet. We're, you know, we're not going to set up an appointment for you to meet everybody. And if you want to come look at the office where we're located and fill out some paperwork, that's fine. Yeah, you know, I was an emergency medical technician, everything like that. I wouldn't take up much of the doctor's time. You know, I know the doctors come in, come back and forth into the front room. And they go back and see the patients. I wouldn't uh, take up any more of their time than just a handshake and introducing myself. So I really wouldn't want to meet and greet. I don't want to have a sit down and have coffee with the doctor. I just want to shake the doctor's hand and look at them in the eye. So that would be all, Amber. But you've been awesome to talk to today, and I appreciate your help. How are you doing, Heidi? I'm doing well. How are you, John? Excellent. Thanks for asking. Hey, um, I'm just calling for a couple of things. Sure. Um, so you're looking to establish care here with Dr. Kovenko. Um, do you have any prior medical history, any prior medical providers that you've seen in the past or anything? Uh, I spoke to Gary about that already. Okay. Um, did he, did you, do you have, the only reason why I'm calling is it looks like you've already reached out to Ringe to establish over there. Is that correct? Uh, I called you first, and the lady named Amber at Ringe said that I couldn't meet two doctors at once because right. that was uh, frowned upon about by the establishment or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So, so uh, just like if I was looking for a new car, I would go to a few different dealerships. Same thing with a doctor. I would try to find the right fit, the right doctor. Just, just by going to the office and taking a look at the people would be a big plus. So she said I was more than welcome to stop by and get a pamphlet. But I said, okay, we won't uh, set up an appointment. But she didn't mind uh, me stopping by to get in a pamphlet from them. Okay. So I'm going to keep the uh, appointment with the Dr. Cavanto. Uh, it's the 22nd of November? 
Yep, so I just need to get us some more information. Gary's fairly new here, 